Bravo! Bravo! Just on the side of the road! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for Season 3 here in South America. guys <laughs> how's my hair <laughs> <laughs> good morning world welcome back to the channel it's day 190 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle <laughs> we tried to wake up for the sunrise this morning <laughs> we nearly made it <laughs> as you can see around us it's foggy in the mountains <laughs> really foggy the sun is up there somewhere it has risen but it's a really beautiful temperature here in the mountains you can hear a lot of birds around us it's a nature party going on here it's like six in the morning when we arrived yesterday we were the only ones uh, we were like oh we will have a really really quiet and nice night but then at like nine or ten o'clock three other people turned up and they had like a semi party here going on so <laughs> <laughs> that's it with our quiet night <laughs> but it was a cozy night in the tent it was fresh mm -hmm. we had our coats on in our sleeping bags oh it was cozy it was nice and no mosquitoes <laughs> exactly but let me show you guys where we're going to be riding today so we are just about here just outside of nova friburgo and we are going to be continuing our way west along the mountains to finish the day in petropolis Yes, a beautiful ride through the mountains today. We're going to be crossing over Rio, over Guanabara Bay, and we should have some really nice viewpoints and nice mountain landscapes along the way. So it's about a four hours ride today and we still have to pack up Bumblebee and pack up our tent and have breakfast. So better hit the road, let's go. Welcome to Camping Ararat. Yes, the best camping in the mountains. So the guys here at Camping Ararat just invited us in for a coffee and some bread with a view. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. They don't speak uh, any English, so we're using Google Translate. But they invited us in. They said, you've got to come in and see the view here, have a coffee and, uh, and have a little relaxation before you hit the road. So look at this. Bon dia, Lavi and Oli. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful cake. De sal. De sal? Manteiga. Okay. <laughs> We've got a giant passion fruit. Look at this. That looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> Muy tropical. Mm -hmm. So, a beautiful breakfast, but it's time to hit the road. We could have stayed here for like one week, but we have to move onwards. We have to get to Petropolis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Obrigado! <laughs> Bye bye! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Straight into this big, <laughs> oh my god, massive hill. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Quite scary ride for the morning. Yeah, that's a crazy start. Wow, such a lovely family at Camping Out of That. Wow, they were so, so nice. Yeah, I think this is my favorite campsite so far. <laughs> 
we're going to try to avoid the uh, crazy dirt road that we took to get up here hmm yeah it's definitely gotten a bit worse <gasps> I'm hoping that there's a second way which is cobbled like this we just need to make sure we make the right turns to get down but look at the view this morning down into the valley look at this it's so unbelievably beautiful so nice here wow this guy's they're living the dream really he told us that he bought the plot 18 years ago there was nothing on it and he lived in the tent with his uh, wife for one and a half years whilst <laughs> building his house and expanding and expanding and now they have like this huge property and it's just insanely beautiful so we're going to make our way down to Nova Friburgo and across to Teresopolis and hope that the direction we're going now has cobbling all the way down <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's steep <laughs> We made it down to the bottom, we made it into civilization without taking any dirt roads. I can't believe how difficult we made it for ourselves yesterday, oh my god. But I'm glad that we could have a smooth start to this morning. And now onwards we have just over 50 miles of beautiful mountain roads to reach Teresopolis. through some big landscapes now Ta -da! <laughs> pretty absolutely pretty yeah and a really nice road winding through them as well and here you can see on the sides actually that they've got quite a selection of English veg growing because we're at altitude so they're growing things like onions spring onions they're growing cabbages lettuce everything you'd find in an English garden is what you find at about this altitude I think we're at still possibly up to a thousand meters up so the air temperature is cooler and then the growers up here switching from the tropical fruits to the leafy greens and the garden veg what's this one here this is definitely some sort of onion yeah it looks like spring onion yes yeah down at sea level you get your fruit salad and up here you get your garden salad you can smell it hey oh yeah. i can smell the onion yummy yeah you get this nice oniony smell coming off the hills oh my god that's nice it reminds me of our little veggie plot back at my parents house <laughs> in northamptonshire hi mum and dad <laughs> <laughs> oh look football the brazilians they love football that's right always got space for a football field even in the mountains okay we're coming into our first big town of the day which is called Teresopolis Teresopolis the name comes from the wife of the last emperor of Brazil Emperor Pedro II and his wife was called Teresa that's really nice he named like an entire city after her that's really cool and it's really funny because after Teresopolis our next city is Petropolis and that's actually named 
after Pedro himself. So he's got <laughs> his city and then his wife's city and uh, both of those next to each other. That's nice. But actually this city is uh, really famous just for being the gateway to this massive national park, this really nice national park which is just starting in front of us. The national park is called Serra dos Orgaos which means the organ mountains but not like organ inside the body but organs like the church organs because I don't know if you can see just yet but there's a lot of these sort of like uh, peaks that are like very up and jagged a bit like the organ in the church so the national park is named after that but we're just going to be riding through the city because our lunch stop for the day is just on the other side and it's called Mirante do Soberbo a nice little viewpoint where we can stop have a break and uh, see the nice mountains behind us Teresopolis Oh, the German flag is the wrong way around <laughs> No way, was it? <laughs> yes So it looks like we are just coming up to our lunch spot for the day Very cool Look at these three Hondas Cool. Let's check out this viewpoint. Our oh, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at all these bikes. I think there are potato chips here. All right, maybe we should get some. But this is what we're here to see. Look at this. That's a big viewpoint behind us. Wow. I think that's Guanabara Bay in the background somewhere over there is Rio de Janeiro and there's actually a really really cool mountain but it's hidden in cloud at the moment up there and that mountain up there is called Dedo de Dios which means God's yeah. finger yeah. and if you could see it it would look like this yeah. but it's just clouds at the moment <laughs> <laughs> Like patata. Yeah. <laughs> patata. Coconuts. Eight. 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 Do you want the coconut as well? Okay. Yeah, okay. Coconut. 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 Let's go. <laughs> so this is normally how the mountains look like without clouds and this is how it looks like with clouds whoa very nice vegetarian meal look at that beans so in a parata ship <laughs> <laughs> this is a first for us <laughs> wow look at that All right, lunch break's over. It's time to continue our journey to Petropolis. Look at this car. Nice. Beautiful. And this one. <laughs> Beautiful. That was a nice lunch break, a nice little stop with the cloudy view, <laughs> but still quite nice, and especially the uh, coconut gave us some new energy for the next one hour 45 minutes apparently coconut road energy <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> so we found another camping on i overlander this one is actually called espace overlander which means overlander space so it's a camping which is dedicated to giving a space for overland vehicles, motorbikes, camper vans. So I think that's the perfect place for us to spend the night. So it's just outside of Petropolis. So we'll be riding into Petropolis first and then onwards through to our camping. Yes, camping! <laughs> Look at all the beetles! Whoa! It's a it's a VW Beetle party! Wow! 
Nice, look at this. Wow. Oh, look at the sugar cane. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Pure sugar. Oh my god, that looks juicy and nice. It does, eh? It does. Cool, the, the VW Beetle Club. That's <laughs> <laughs> super cool. Cheers, guys. We see you on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting up into the mountains now, away from Teresopolis, and we're heading on this beautiful little road called the BR495 and this road is amazing because it's nestled in between two national parks on the left you've got the one I mentioned before Park Natural Sierra dos Orgaos on the other side on the right you've got the Montanas de Teresopolis natural park so this road is like a thin strip in between a vast area of mountains and forest and that's just absolutely epic to ride through so we got about 13 miles until we get to the end of this road so that's 30 miles of rider heaven <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign for capybara. <laughs> That's a new one for us. We've had camels in Morocco and now capybara in Brazil. I would love to see one of those crossing the road. How cute. We're just coming into Petropolis in about a mile or so. And uh, yeah, you don't really want to be a capybara crossing. Oh, but look, look, look. Cool. Oh, oh. Yeah, our uh, overlander space camping is uh, coming up in two miles. Yes. So we're really getting there. We've made our way through the mountains. <gasps> oh, there's Capybara. Uh, oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Capybara. <laughs> bravo, <laughs> bravo. Just on the side of the road. I can't believe it. And one was really big. They Did are you really big. They're like little pigs. One was really big. And I think it was the mom. And then two were really small. Wow. Nice. So it looks like we're just coming into the central area of Petropolis. And Petropolis is known as the imperial city. The story goes that Pedro II, who was the last emperor of Brazil, uh, actually went to visit a farm up in this area. He was so in love with the climate and the nature and the mountains that he basically said, right, we're going to build a city here. <laughs> and on top of that, we're going to name the city after me. <laughs> so then you have born Petropolis. And Petropolis is characterized by a lot of grand imperial buildings like the one we just saw. Actually, like this one just coming up in front. I mean, you've got a lot of these old style, big, big, big buildings. And there's also the um, main museum of Brazil. I can't remember the name. I think it's called the Museum of Brazil. And uh, that's set in an old imperial residence. Yeah, it's the most visited uh, museum here in Brazil. And I think about 300,000 people visiting it every year. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like our place is coming up 
just in a second awesome so this looks like the place Espaso Overlander Petropolis so we are just going to see if they're open and have space for us yeah <laughs> so we just got another guest to uh, speak to the owner of this place because he's not actually here she said that he said that it's fine for us to stay so we've just got to ride the bike in and then work out the details with him <laughs> good evening Lavi is over there eating some popcorn that we prepared last night We've got Bumblebee set up, we've got the tent set up, and the other guests just left, so we're the only ones here. This is a very cool little campsite in the city, just on the edge of the city. You can see all the love he puts in this place here. You can see all the details and look at that. <laughs> That's nice, eh? And some little Buddha figures. Oh. It's uh, got a little kitchen area at the back and this little, you got the toilets and showers just here. So it's really compact, but it's everything you need really. We'll see if anybody else arrives here. Otherwise, this is gonna be like a grand garden for us. Yeah, really cool. I'm really happy to be here. So it was a really nice route through the mountains today. We didn't have too much in the city with the traffic. It was a lot of open winding roads, which is amazing. We did about 100 miles, which is about 160 kilometers. So not too much, but it took us still, I think about six hours on the bike. So I'm really happy that we stopped for the day, that we can just relax and chill out and see where we're going tomorrow <laughs> so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comments below we will see you next time